is mine. Well, hello there, stranger. Whew. You're a real bright and shiny hello. one, aren't you? <laughs> I ask you for your name, but probably put it. Sadly, you got no mouth to speak with, or hands to shake with, or nose to look down with. So we're gonna have to find another way. See, what you'll find is, even though you're no longer in your body, your body's still inside of you, if that makes any sense. So if you understand what I'm saying, and Blink over my hand here. You remember blinking, don't you? <laughs> I don't know how to blink. That thing you did 30,000 times a day. Ooh, well look at that. You're a blinking genius. <laughs> wow, very yeah, creative. I knew you were special. You see all them poor souls down there, lost in the waves? I didn't choose any of them. I chose you. Just like the See, river sticks. I, I just sometimes get a sort of a a hunch, or what's a better word? Well, notion. No mm, better word than that. Ah, premonition. A premonition when a soul's worth pulling up. Okay. Now you see that tower out there? The big scary one. That's where I'm taking you to see the gatekeeper, to be judged. I'm gonna present your case, tell her the whole story of your entire life from prow to stir. Now if she's impressed, I get paid the big coin and you get yourself a spot in her magnificent city. If she ain't, well, I eat seagull for dinner again and uh, you, well, <laughs> and you have plenty of fish. We don't have to worry about that, because I am the best orator you'll find on these sickly waters. Class A storyteller, believe you me. <laughs> oh, shut up, you trash birds. You had your chances. It wasn't my fault you were no good. Layabouts. Unsatisfactory. Clock watchers. I got some words for you. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. <laughs> so sure. Maybe I'm not the most verbose storyteller out there, but I know how to spin a yarn if I'm given something to work with. And that's where you come in. Your life. You're gonna show it to me. I wanna see exactly what made you so absolutely great. So, I'm just pretty think great. back to the very beginning. The first thing that you can remember I'm gonna send you there. But understand, no matter how much you like it, you're not gonna be able to stay, all right? Every what time you be blink, the first thing I remember? you're going to jump forward in time. Am I gonna be remember second, when I'm a baby? Could be five years. That's just how this thing works. Alrighty then. I hope he's ready for this. Now, the next time that you blink, I'm gonna send you back. Now don't be afraid, and don't try to fight it. The thing to remember about blinking is, well, it's only a matter of time. I'm touched you enjoy my company. I really am. But I'll have to ask you to have some respect for the process here. There is a dry eye in the house. Two of them, and they belong to this guy, right here. <laughs> no, really, man, I need you to believe.
If I were your eyes, I'd just be pissed at this point. This has got to be a bigger betrayal than that time you stared directly at the sun. That's true. <laughs> Ooh, look! He's going for a world record. That'll be so much cooler than saving your soul from eternal damnation. Is that all you have to say? You know what, man? Forget it. I'm done with you. You honestly can rot at this point. Obnoxious. Just got achievement. Obnoxious. Okay, I'll blink. And just try to enjoy it this time. Wow. Look at that sun. We've got a long, beautiful day ahead of us. Why are you smiling like that? You must really like it out here, huh? Well, I get that. I like it too. Anything else, miss? Mm -hmm. Like a baby right now. Let's go get you some seashells. What do you say? You see that big spiky plant over there? That's called Nagabe. Eleven years from now. That plant will die so it can give birth to this tall, amazing tree, covered in flowers. We'll have to keep our eyes on that one. Yeah. Anything else, miss? Fine. The day really slipped away, didn't it? Those my shoes. Oh well, oh, must days be have a tendency baby. to do that, I guess. Yeah, Where's the first page of my piece? I can't find it anywhere. Did I put it in here? No. Damn seagull. Okay. Go ahead, kid. Every That's a great idea. Yeah, well, it would really be something to see how it grows. Man, the zoom on this thing is fantastic. What's mm, that deep? It's on. Don't you? <laughs> Give it time. I'm sure you'll be better than me soon enough. Now where was I? the ship from the start. Sounds good, honey! I'm sending it to my mentor. Oh, hey, father. It has to be 
perfect. Well, sounds pretty perfect to me. Yeah, what do you like about it? What do I like about it? I like the music. That's very specific. I also like the person playing it. face like that. No. Probably solving the problems in the universe. I am. No more than you. Oh, I wanted to... No, I it's not it derivative. Enough. At least I didn't think it was. Do you think you could tell the other members of the selection committee what I just told you? Right. No, I'm sorry. Great I, painting. I guess I just put a lot of expectation on this call. Okay, I understand. Thank you for considering my nice peace It really means a lot. Oh, that's sure a little mess of color. Throw. I don't want to throw. You know, it. if you keep working at it, one day you'll be able to paint exactly what's in your head. You'll be a real artist. Unlike your poor mom. Talk by yourself like that. See? That used to be my piano. My dad gave it to me. He loved music. Fled his home country just to have a chance to pursue it. God, he made me practice so much. I hated it at first. You still hate it. I think he hoped to make it further than conducting the high school choir. Never said anything, though. He was what you might call the strong, silent type. Like me. Can you believe I grew up in the snow? And I came all the way out here to the beach. I don't even know how I got here. Your dad got his job and I just came with him. Like a human suitcase. Okay, Benny. Are you, are you ready to see something really special? I just don't. Richard. It's a cat. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, what's wrong with that? We can't keep him. Can we? I mean, I'm pretty much definitely allergic, so no, right? No. We'll find someone. Sure we will. But while he's here, I say we call him Ernie. <laughs> Little Ernie. Fits him, doesn't it? Oh, he's so cute. He's so sweet. I think someone likes his new cat. Richard. What? His cat. <laughs> what? Yeah, I just mean, for now. Of course we're not going to keep him. Right. I believe that. I know where this is going. For now, honey. Yes, Dad. But... Another thing I'll just say quickly, you build up a resistance to allergies over time. So what you're allergic to now, like that's why an allergy shot to give you what you're allergic to. So he's like a human allergy shot full of love with one eye. Yeah. Just considering. I just know a month from now, he's going to be sleeping on my pillow and I'm not going to be breathing. No, you'll, you'll be breathing because you'll have developed a tolerance. You just said that, Mike. Okay. All right. He can sleep on my pillow. Fair? That fail? Is that all you have to say? <gasps> Ernie. Oh, God. Now play the C major chord I taught you. Remember?
There you go. Doesn't that make you feel happy? Like you just want to jump up and down? Now what about C? Minor. You remember how to play that one? Very good. Just one note different. But that one sounds sad, doesn't it? Amazing what a difference one little change can make on how a person feels. <laughs> sort of like me and your little friend on your piano there. Your crap mom might play better than you. Okay, see you, Ernie. She was in grad school studying composition. I never met anyone like her. I just prayed to God I could somehow keep up. How'd you take that picture? I think she liked that I was a professor. Gave me a certain gravitas in her eyes, you know. Gravitas. Which I very quickly lost. Nice pickup line. Egypt Airlines. God, she dragged me to so many places. It was wonderful. I'm on the bed. Are you beating me? This. Where would you want to go if you could only go to one? Hmm. Let's go to Egypt. Now, you know the ancient Egyptians believed cats had godlike powers. They would have worshipped our little Ernie. Can you imagine? <laughs> Sorry, Ernie. Born in the wrong time period, I guess. It's true. Where are you, Ernie? You should be on my bed. <gasps> That's a nice lamp. <gasps> it's Lightning McQueen. If that is a car, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh. piano lessons. Yeah, sure. But you know anyone who might be a good teacher for him? What? I, I mean in the city, sure. Not out here I don't. I mean, I know someone who might be up to the task. She's very gifted. Who could it be? Richard, no one in this town knows anything. Maybe so I'll just dense. have to do it myself. Oh really? Good idea. I think that settles it. But who's this mysterious woman you're talking about? Oh, she's cheating on you. I hope you're not in love with her. You know, I really was for a while, but then she revealed herself to be much stupider than I thought. Richard, what are you talking about? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Stupid mom. <gasps> Ernie. Oh God, I have my interview in five minutes and I completely forgot to feed him. Don't worry, I already did. Oh, thank God. For a moment, I forgot what a great father you are. Focus on the interview, honey. I got this. Excuse me, of course, sir. It's all organized no, in the folders, sitting ready on my kitchen table. They will literally be on your desk when you get in. What could possibly happen to the files between hey. now and tomorrow morning? We Why'd you are pee not. from your butt? Are you even a guy? That was gross. You better not be a guy, otherwise you have some problems. When's he coming? I'm flying him out in February, remember? 
You know, I think he was pretty surprised that I could actually afford to do that. Why not? You're a working woman now. I guess that's true. Don't want to go to your head, but yeah. Please let the cat know. It's time to use the litter box, though. Baby steps. He's got one eye. True. This is called a metronome. We use it to measure time so we don't get lost in the music. Mm. I want you to start using it before Grandpa comes to visit. Grandpapa? You know, my father once told me, when I was about your age, the only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, which might live on after you're gone. Hmm. So I asked him, what about your children? Thinking, you know, I might be a work of genius just as I was. He said, yes, I suppose. If you made a work of genius, I could look. I haven't seen him in over 10 years. Can you believe that? I wonder if he'll even recognize me. So you have the same mother? Pooey. Whoa. Okay, this is a bit creepy. Oh, if only I had to hold my eyes. I don't have a webcam. So now we'll get to see. He couldn't make it. Because I killed him. Do I just... Okay. You really need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? Subdivide the time. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E. You're off. You're off, Ben. You can't hear that? Shut up, mother. I'm great. There you go, buddy. Okay, now keep a firm grip on it. Just like that. Oh my. Well, I don't think you like that, pal. Sorry, buddy. Turn around, Elle. So we can photograph you. I'm just really behind right now. Why don't you take photos in the backyard? It may not be interesting at first, but if you keep going back out there every day, you'll be surprised by how much it changes. <gasps> My car. Where'd it go? <gasps> Ernie's lost. Ernie, Ernie! Buddy! Ernie! Ernie! Ernie, we need you! God, El, what if you got eaten by a coyote? I'd say that. Sinuses would be eternally indebted. Hey! What? Did you just say? No, I, I said I'm really worried. Hello, Here, kitty, kitty, kitty! God, honey. I'm worried too. I know, sweetie. Ernie! Kid! Come to Papa! I know you're mad about last night, but this is ridiculous. What happened last night? Oh, God. What? Well, if he survived that, I don't know how worried we have to be. Okay, well, let's take this seriously, okay? He has one eye that we predator on his back. One side of him he doesn't even know. Okay? Let's take this seriously. He's not like a dolphin. He has a on Come on, dude. Is that it? So you're saying it's a coincidence that it disappears for weeks and then comes back with a huge belly? But Ernie's a boy. And you're sure about that? Yeah, I saw him pee out of his butt. Uh huh. And that was based on. I'm still not understanding how you let this oh. happen. I don't know. 
I didn't think about it. It just it just happened. We just happened to find a stray cat in the alley. We keep it in the not know, I hate it. cats. And now it just happens to pop up five more. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you hated cats. For a professor of science and symbols, you're really bad at reading them. Okay, that that's funny. And that's really witty. I let us keep him for Benny. And I'm happy about that. But I really can't have five cats around the house. It's just not sustainable. Just sell them. Put them outside or something. Until we can find homes for them. Just give them to a pet shelter. He keeps coloring the grass blue, the ocean green, and then the sky red. And what's wrong with that? No, are you kidding? I love it. Hmm. Huh. Being able to pick up a new book? Yes. The Millie Gallia is a particular interest. I meant Benny's book. Oh, yeah. Chapter 2. It's pretty expensive, right? No. You can put a price on learning. I made it. And it's super big. <laughs> yeah, education is expensive. Visit Australia. <gasps> Visit Australia, guys. Oh, creepy again. Oh, what was that noise? What is that noise? Are they? No. Please don't tell me that <laughs> what I think is happening. Oh no. <sighs> it definitely is. Oh no. It's coyote eating the cats. Oh, <laughs> why is it so crunchy? Ew. I'm, I'm not. I don't. It's not going. I any know. Further. It seems impossible that you could ever play something so complex. But just take it one day at a time. Trust me. Start working on your other hand. Why we? Listen to him, Richard. I've been listening to him in that competition. I thought you said competitions took the joy out of playing music. Not if you win. So good. Better than you, mother. We just practiced non stop for like year, years, months, I don't know. Okay. Two brackets on each side. Two screws. The quiz said find the zero, oh. and he just drew an arrow pointing to it. <laughs> well, what's wrong with that? I mean, everything is wrong with that. Nine over twelve. What kind of what even grade am I in? Why am I getting four point two times ten squared? Ah, going to modern times. Got half a mark, that's better than nothing. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this part.